Good afternoon. A bitterly cold day and it is about to get worse when all that snow starts falling tonight. Let's get the latest from meteorologist Kristen Curry. And good afternoon. I want to start you off with a look at your radar. We're really not seeing much falling from the sky here in the state just yet. Still dealing with a few flurries down to the south and east. But if I zoom this out, this is the storm system we're tracking. And it's really, it's not a matter of where this is. We can see it in parts of Flagstaff, Arizona, around the mountain areas have already picked up 10 inches of snow. So I like the setup. I like the power with this storm. Now it's just a matter of timing with this. Earlier it seemed to slow down just a little bit. I want it to speed up so we can have it arrive overnight, but it's only going to add to those icy roads that we have out across the Interstate 40 in the Tucumcari area. So we're going to have to be careful with this. And you'll notice those wind chills still leave us in the teens and single digits statewide. So it's very cold. More snow expected on the way overnight. I'll have full details on that coming up in about 15 minutes. A lot of snow and ice is covering the roads in Carlsbad, prompting the closure of the caverns there. The roads to the park are too dangerous to drive on right now. The park will also be closed tomorrow in observance of New Year's Day. And there are difficult driving conditions in much of the state right now because of the cold and ice. Some of the worst areas are near Lovington and Carlsbad. But it is also pretty treacherous up north. Everywhere from Las Vegas to Chama, Taos and Raton are all reporting dangerous conditions. Now we do have an updated list of those conditions on KRQE.com.